Hey, hey, it's your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an entire NFT collection for free with absolutely no coding knowledge. This did take me a bit to understand just because I had to go through a bunch of forums. However, it's very easy to do. So if you guys can go down and leave a like on this video, it would mean a ton. Also subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all the latest and greatest online trends. We are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. That is the end goal. So if we could hit that, that would be huge. Okay, so let's get right into this video. So before doing absolutely anything, what you wanna do is actually go to a site called rarity.tools. Some of you may have already heard of it, and just go through the collections that are the most popular. So obviously you've definitely heard of CryptoPunks before. They look like these dudes right here. And you've probably seen the Bored Ape Yacht Club as well. These are the two biggest NFT collections on the market right now. Additionally, there is just so many more like Cool Cats, Pudgy Penguins, World of Woman. There's just so many different examples. And the reason I want you guys to go through is to understand how the art style or the collection style works. Usually it forms one base template. So for the world of woman, it is this base woman girl, but it can come in different colors with different hair, different mouths, eyes, eyebrows, but the base shape always stays the same. And that's what you want to keep in mind when designing your collectible. Now, for example, I'm actually working on a personal project that hopefully will be up on OpenSea by the time this video comes out. Now I can't actually show the full design of this idea just because YouTube terms of service would not enjoy it but as you can see in this photoshop file this is how i have it set up so these are the different layers that there is a mouth a chain hats eyes head body arms and background and in these folders there is all the different types of layers that could be on your collectible so for example here's a winter theme christmas theme nighttime theme a Rick and Morty theme, a sunny day theme. You guys kind of get the idea. This is what you want to do when designing your collectible in Photoshop or Paint. Something to keep in mind is the more things that you have, the more variations your NFT collections will work with and it will just look a lot cleaner when there's more variation. So get creative, create as much things as you can and I highly suggest keeping everything organized in folders like I do in my Photoshop file. Okay, so once you have all your layers designed out, do not make the mistake of single-handedly saving different PNGs that you create yourself. Do not do that. Trust me, there is a a way easier way that is going to save you a ton of time. Obviously making 10,000 of those would be impossible, but through the work of generative art and this code that you don't need to code yourself, you can do this in no time. So here's a little example on screen. I'm just going to go through it quick, but there is 288 currently printing out 291. And as you guys can see, the number keeps going up. Now I may have to blur this out just because this is the character that YouTube may not enjoy, but as you can see, images just keep on popping up and that is because I currently have the code going on in the background. Okay, so once you have everything designed, what you want to do is go to this website right here, and it is a GitHub. If you don't know what a GitHub is, it's not too big of a deal. All you want to do is go to code and then download zip. Click that. And then in your downloads, you'll get a zip file. Now you're going to need a WinRAR downloaded or a 7-zip and you just want to click it and then do extract here and it'll extract this folder. In this folder, you're going to see a bunch of crazy stuff, input, output, all of that good jazz. And that means that everything downloaded correctly. Now the second thing you want to download is a app called Visual Studio Code. And this is where all the magic happens. So get that downloaded and then open it up. Then the next thing you want to do is go to file, open folder, and then find that folder in your downloads. Hit select folder, then select the checkbox. And yes, I trust the authors. Once you have that opened up, you'll see all these different options. So the next thing you want to do is click on the index.js and then open the input and click the config.js. Then you want to select terminal and then new terminal. Then you want to type in npm install and hit enter. And once you're done that, it's going to take around 30 to 60 seconds to install. And if everything worked out, you'll get this folder right here called node modules. The next thing that you need to install is npm install truffle dash 
P and you want to do the exact same thing and hit enter. All right. And now to test everything out, to make sure you set everything out properly, what you want to do is type in node index.js and hit enter. Then you want to check your output folder right here by clicking the arrow. And if you see these popping up, that means you set up everything correctly and you are ready to start changing the code around to work with your images. So what you want to do is go back to that folder and then go to input. And here is where all your layers are going to be. So obviously for your background, you want to add all your background layers in there. And then for the suit, that'd probably be like your body. And then you can have all the extra stuff. Let's say you wanted a chain instead of a pin. Well, you can fix that around. Additionally, let's say you only have eight different layers, but this example has 10 don't worry all you want to do is go into your code go to config and take out the last two parameters that you don't need so now we only have hair mask facial hair race pin shoulder and suit and background additionally let's say you want to add more than two backgrounds well this is very simple to do what you want to do is just copy one of the background codes go under it by one by pressing enter and then Control v to paste it in then you want to change the id to one up of the other so it goes zero one then you want to change it to two the name, obviously the name of your background. So let's say we wanted to make a pink background. You just want to change that to pink. And then it's going to ask for the directory of it. So you just want to change that to pink.png. And then you want to go over to your downloaded folder, go to input, go to background, and then you want to upload a pink background in here and call it pink. And bam, as you guys can see, we have that image I uploaded as the new background that pops in every once in a while. Actually, we're getting a lot of those. Finally, we got a light blue. But yeah, you just want to change it around with your backgrounds. Obviously, I just grabbed a quick photo I had already on my PC, which was the TikTok logo. But there's so much variation you can do with these, and that's why I absolutely love this. So the last thing we're going to go over is how to fix the rarity on each different layer that you have. So let's say you want to make a mask be super unrare. What you can do is set that to around 100, and that's going to make sure that majority of your characters are going to have a mask. But let's say we want to make it really rare that you don't have a mask. You would set that to like something like three and that make it super rare to get a character with a mask. That is how you change the rarity by changing the weight. The lower, the more rare, the higher, the less rare. Now, the last thing we're going to be going over is how to adjust how many, how many NFTs you actually want. And this is very simple to do. You just want to scroll up on the config.js code and change the code to whatever you would like. I've seen most collections go for around 10,000, so you can adjust that to 10,000. However, I would recommend setting this to something a lot lower, especially if you're just testing things out with how the layers look. Additionally, you can actually change the size of the nft and i highly recommend going with a 3000 by 3000 pixel size for your nft this seems to be the going size online at least with what i've seen now keep in mind it is going to take up a decent amount of storage on your pc just because you are literally generating 10,000 different images that are 3000 by 3000 however at the end of the day it is very worth it so guys that's going to conclude today's video on how to auto generate 10,000 plus nfts for your nft collection i hope this video was very thorough and very easy to explain for someone that is not so used to using pcs if you enjoyed this video smack that like button and subscribe to the channel it means a ton as we're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers also buy into my nft collection hopefully it'll be out by the time this video comes out if it is i'll have it linked down in the description along with all the other things that you needed to download for this tutorial Alrighty, that's it for me see you guys later. Maybe.